A star-nosed mole is surely one of the world's weirdest-looking animals. If you were to come face to face with one, you might think its head had been replaced by a tiny octopus. But it's not. What are they like? Let us know about it. The star-nosed mole is a small mole that inhabit wet lowland areas of North America. They have a strange appearance with a unique star-shaped nose that's ringed with 22 fleshy appendages called rays, which they use to feel its way around and even hunt prey. The star-nosed mole is covered in dark brown, water-repellent fur, and have broad feet with claws. A fully grown, adult star-nosed mole typically measures only around 6 to 8 inches in length, while its tail is thin and hairy and 1 to 2 inches in length. They weigh around 50 grams when fully grown. Star-nosed moles are found primarily in forests, marshes, wetlands, swamps, and near water. However, they are sometimes also found in dry meadows further from water. They are active both during the day and night, and are still active still during the winter, continuing to tunnel and forage for food and snow, and will swim in icy streams and under frozen ponds. The star-nosed mole is a carnivore, and its diet is small animals without backbones. It eats aquatic insects, worms, mollusks, small amphibians, and small fish. Their nose isn't used for smelling, it's used for touch to feel around and hunt prey in darkness. The mole hunts by bopping its star nose against the ground rapidly, it can touch up to 12 different places in a single second. Their star is the most sensitive touch organ known in any mammal. It contains more than 100,000 nerve fibers, around five times the number of touch fibers in a human hand, all packed into their star which is smaller than a fingertip. The sensory receptors are known as Elmer's organs, after the scientist who first observed them. They help the mole detect seismic wave vibrations from its surroundings. They use their star in the same as the way we use our eyes as a sensory organ to understand the environment. Research shows that their brain is organized around signals from their stars, much in the same way that humans' brains are arranged by visual information from eyes. They eat faster than any other mammal on Earth. Star-nosed moles can identify and eat food in less than two-tenths of a second, taking a mere eight milliseconds to decide whether an item is edible or not. They perform this feat in part due to the extremely efficient operation of their nervous systems, which convey information from the environment to the animal's brain at speeds approaching the physiological limit of neurons. It's widely been accepted that mammals can't logistically smell underwater, however the star-nosed mole has deepest an ingenuous workaround. They sniff underwater by blowing bubbles towards an object, and then re-inhaling the same air bubbles to retrieve their scent and smell them. This is thought to help detect both prey and potential predators. Star-nosed mole use their front legs as shovels. They use them to dig shallow tunnels up to 100 feet in length for foraging through marshes and swamps. They are excellent diggers and their broad feet are equipped with claws, ideal for moving dirt. They also use them for burrowing their nests underground. Like all moles, they burrow to nest and can make molehills. They generally build their nest in deeper tunnels away from predators, usually below a protective structure, like rocks or logs. They use sticks, leaves and dry grass to line their nests and stay dry. In winter its tail swells up with fat, making it four times larger than its normal size. It serves as a fat storage organ to help the mole survive the winter months. Star-nosed mole mate once a year and the male and female separate after birth. They mate in February to March and produce a spring litter, usually in April to May and produce one litter of two to seven young. After birth, the female generally raises the young alone. Their population is stable, and there are no significant threats to the species. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.